I appreciate being asked to uh, come and join everybody, and I look forward to giving you uh, a tour afterwards and explaining some of the uh, architectural decisions and also a little bit about uh, Walter Travis's architecture. Um, it's an interesting journey for me. I'm, I'm really pleased that uh, Ed Holmes is here. Uh, a number of years ago, I ended up involved with my first Travis course, which happened to be at Lookout Point. And uh, I found myself uh, quite concerned about not knowing much about Walter Travis. So I had called Ed, and uh, Ed spent uh, probably about six months teaching me about Walter Travis, taking me to a whole series of golf courses, and then talking about what he knew, what he saw, and eventually sort of giving me some leads to learn a lot. And I think Ed actually, in an in a offhand way, um, has had a great role in what's happened here. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that the uh, club and the uh, and it dearly that they trusted me to uh, to do the best I can with trying to give you a little bit more to Travis back in the golf course. I think the uh, work that Jeff Key, uh, the tireless effort that he put in, and then the um, I, I can't say enough about all the details that John has done personally to make sure that things went really well. And John has had a huge impact in uh, how well things have gone. So between Jeff and John, the, the quality of the work is more a testament to them than it is to anybody else. And then finally, uh, two brothers, uh, uh, John and Anthony, were the ones that um, listened to my strange ramblings and actually put it to, put it to uh, mean something and sort of interpreted all the sketches. And all the work that's out here is, is their efforts. And as Bob had mentioned, they uh, both live in Ottawa. They were here for 10 or 11 days at a time working before going home. And they both have families. So I think uh, it's sort of, sometimes they're sort of the young sung heroes that don't get the credit they deserve. Uh, I, I really appreciate the, 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 the trust that it was given to me, uh, particularly by the committee, uh, by Bob and by Kingman and by everybody else involved. And uh, I'm really proud of what's done here. I've brought a number of people out and they are really excited about what's taken place. So I hope you enjoy it today. And I guess the only thought I, I have right now is I, I wonder what Walter Travis would say if he, if, if he could see this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and join us in the ceremonial tee off. It would be an honor and a pleasure. Let's go, gentlemen. <laughs> Eddie, Ed, Ed, up here, get up please? there. I don't believe we paint. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Are you a member of this club? <laughs> and don't know what circumstances are you invited here? <laughs> um, I have something to do with having established a historical society. And what is the name of this society? The Walter J. Travis Society. How would I go I mean, about? We've been in uh, existence for 15 years now. But uh, how would I go about uh, applying for membership in this society? I just happen to have an application. I'll get it uh, to you uh, later. I don't have Very it good. right now. Well, why don't you join us? Mr. Holmes and I, Mr. Andrew. Mr. Holmes, Mr. Andrew. <laughs> Gentlemen, enjoy your time playing golf on this Cherry Hill golf course. Amen. <laughs>